What's up? I'm the Nature Hacker, and this is your world. So, uh, another YouTube blackout video uh, for protesting YouTube censorship. Um, in the last video, I said I was moving to DTube, but that's actually not where I'm ending up. I'm actually going to end up at Brighteon. Uh, that is B R I G H T E O N, like brighteon.com. And that's a Health Ranger site, and he and I are pretty similar. So I feel like that's a good place to end up. Um, it's not perfect. It's definitely not a perfect system, um, but it is the best system that I have found. I thought DTube was going to be great, but DTube is an old boys club um, with um, you know old Steam users. So basically, they kept changing the. Um, the goalposts originally it was everybody with an account is going to be in the airdrop and the airdrop is happening um, I believe September uh, 6th um, but then um, 15 days before the airdrop they changed it to um, it's going to be based on your activity so those that are very active on D2 would get more coins than the others um, you know I could kind of accept that if that was it but then I went to their discord and they're like um psych nope it's not even your DTube activity it's your steam activity that's linked to DTube so if you were posting a lot about DTube on steam then you're gonna get a lot of coins and again that not only is this f they say this 15 days before the airdrop so all of their people insiders are all going to be um, just heads and tails above everybody else in the airdrop but uh, they didn't even tell that to the community. I had to go to the Discord and talk to one of the leaders there to even figure that out. So um, DTube is just this circle jerk old boys club and there's no real way to break into it um, by being a new member unless you, maybe you give them a ton of money in the uh, ICO, the initial coin offering uh, that they're having later on, which I was gonna invest in that if I was going to get a decent amount in the airdrop. If I felt like I had a fighting chance from the airdrop, then I was going to uh, invest more, but I don't feel like that's the case. So I'm not going to participate. I'm not even going to make any videos there. I'm, right now, what I'm doing is, I have a ton of coins there. So I'm saving up, and these are just test net coins. They're not, uh, they're gonna be deleted after the real net launches. But I'm saving up, I'm gonna make a big video, and gonna it's gonna pin to the top of DTube for probably a day. And basically that I quit DTube because of all the bullshit, and that I'm coming here to Brighteon. And so I am on Brighteon. Um, if you go to naturehacker.org on the daily videos button at the top of the screen, we'll take you right to my Brighteon channel. Now, I had some misgivings with Brighteon. Um, they have this editor picks point um, section in the top. You know, it's kind of like trending videos, but instead of trending, it's just editor picks. Um, so they put me there, the first video I, I listed um, recently, and they put me there, and I got a decent amount of views, about 60 views. Um, but then my next video, I didn't get in that editor section and I got like 40 views and then today I uploaded a video and it didn't even get in the new video section because by the time they reviewed it it was already like 40 minutes old and there was other new videos that were higher up than mine so I wasn't even on the home page at all um, on my video today I sent them an email like I'm not sure if this is fair I feel like I'm shadow banned boom my video appears in editors choice um, you know for for maybe an hour or two so, you know, I feel like it's reasonable. I feel like there's a shot for me to be in the editor's choice section. Um, so that's really all I can ask for. So I feel like it's decent. Um, again, it's not perfect. You know, it's a lot of curating on the side of Brighteon and who they choose to promote. But um, I feel like it's the best thing out there. There's no other platform that's as good as it. And it's pretty straightforward. There's not really any catches or anything. It is what it seems to be. So I think it's a decent enough platform. Uh, please come and join me there. I'm making daily videos. So please come to brighteon.com. You don't need to log in. You don't need to 
there is no even subscribe button or likes or anything you just come and just come to my channel and view the videos and I'll see your views there and I'll appreciate that um, of course you can always email me teef powder t-e-e-f p-o-w-d-e-r 2.0 at gmail.com so you can always reach me there if you want to say something um, you know I've been working on teeth powder um, on Amazon I ran out of stock I got stock back up so my Amazon's back up again these links are on naturehacker.org at the top I have the Amazon store link there where you can see teeth powder there so I've been making a lot of headway on that and I'm actually I'm actually posting Instagram I have um, a, a social media person that is um, making posts for me on Instagram so I am on Instagram, I believe, as nature or as teef powder. Um, so there's some actually good info going out on Instagram about like how to cure dry mouth, how to cure sensitive teeth. So I'm actually doing quite a bit on Instagram. I'm promoting posts and stuff, which helps get visibility for teeth powder. So I've been making a lot of adjustments to teeth powder. It's at an incredible place right now, where it kills virtually every oral bacteria I've tweaked the essential oil blend to be something unseen in the history of the world as to how broad of a spectrum this really is I mean it is literally killing everything and you know some people are worried well what about the good bacteria um, my answer to that is there's no real way number one to only kill bad bacteria not good bacteria secondly um, even bacteria people think are good a lot of times like a lot of them are streptococcus species which actually cause anxiety and heart disease so there really isn't any good bacteria and even if there was you wouldn't really be able to select for it so what I do is I just kill everything and your mouth is seeded with bacterial spores anyway so they all start growing back anyway um, but they kind of grow back in a balanced way so it tends to be okay and you know if there's any issues in your mouth just brush your teeth again you know with teeth powder um, if you're brushing twice a day there should be no issues at all and it should be basically cure any problems you have in your mouth any, anywhere from uh, cankers to cavities there's an insane amount of remineralization ingredients in it like literally insane like you'll never see this now or any time this so many remineralization ingredients um, in something. There's alpha, tri alpha tricalcium phosphate. There's octocalcium phosphate. There's tetracalcium phosphate, and there's tetracalcium phosphate peroxide. And this tetracalcium phosphate peroxide has never even been invented before I created it. So the reason I added the peroxide is not to necessarily whiten teeth or to kill germs or anything. It's to actually help. The tetracalcium phosphate stick to your enamel and actually uh, create new enamel on the tooth surface so I'm really excited about it I'm really um, thankful that I have uh, this sort of knowledge to be able to do it um, and there's also ginseng extract as the foaming agent so there's no surfactants or soaps or anything it's actually ginseng extract for foaming so it's quite an amazing thing the packaging is amazing I mean it's the prepper packaging it's vacuum sealed um, it'll last decades uh, longer than way longer than any toothpaste so anyway thanks for listening uh, check me out on brighteon.com uh, uh, links are at naturehacker.org you are the nature hacker let's do work